Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're listening to Mario Esco Live, where we like to interview people who are actively serving the community, share testimonies, music, music videos, exclusive updates and announcements. And really, we just want to utilize the platform to encourage, edify, challenge if necessary as we go over various topics and subjects. We're not perfect and we don't have all the answers, but we're firm believers in iron sharpening iron. And we really just want to build and edify together. So with that said, I hope you're blessed and enjoy the show. Grace and peace. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to Mario Esco Live. I'm your host, Mario Esco. Alongside me is your co-host, my dude, my brother, Gil Vargas. What's up? What's going on? What up, what up? What up, what up? So can you explain the hat before we even... Before we even jump in this, man? I mean, it's not that much to explain. It's Christmas, you know? And uh-huh. I, I, I feel, even though it's the day after Christmas, I still feel, you know, spirit. I guess you f- you feel the spirit, the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> oh man, you gotta explain that, bro. <laughs> like you, you already started off rough. I see my abuelita Fanny. Uh, Hi, abuelita Fanny. I love you. Abuelita Shout out to them. Fanny. I was just over there with my family, um, doing the gift exchange. Um, cheated on the diet a little bit. Had some Chinese, you know. Ooh. Um, <laughs> He's cheating. But that doesn't that doesn't affect the inter- intermittent fasting, right? Like that doesn't affect it. Chinese is good. Oh yeah. Right? Somehow. You can it, eat whatever you... <laughs> yeah, it converts everything to protein. <laughs> everything. So shout out to them. I love them. Yes, as you can see, it's actually the day after Christmas. Yeah. Um, For those jumping in the podcast, I know but you on the live, like you guys I know I feel that, like this is our Christmas episode, though. You know? It's yeah. close. It's yesterday. Word. So you, you can know? kind of... Well, then next episode is what? New Year's? Yeah. I mean, we're in the New Year. It's the first show, actually, next yeah. week in... For 2019, man. That's crazy. You excited for this year? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's going on? Juan jumped in. What's up, brother? Um, yeah, man. 2019, man. I'm pumped. Matter of fact, listen, wait. Let me just let me just say this as you guys, you know, jump in. Um, you know, if you feel blessed, share it, uh, drop your comments, whatever, drop your questions. We're going to do our best to follow through. Um, it's me and Gil today. As you can see, obviously, uh, Shane is not with us. Shane is actually really, he's been busy lately, man. He's actually going to be going down to Kentucky to do some uh, studies. Um, and he's, and he's you know, heavily devoted to his church and the youth in his church as well. So um, prayers, you know, keep Shane lifted. So um, yeah. new space is not here. Um we're still, you know, working that out, but we're cool where we're at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for the time being, as we build, you know, it's cool. Uh, we got that in the works, but it's just with holidays and everything coming up, it's been it's been busy. But I'm excited about all the stuff that we have planned for the upcoming year. This is going to be, regardless of where we at, this show yeah. is going to move forward. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but we are excited about the music that we're going to be putting together. And the projects, you know, the videos and the things that we want to do. So uh, we made the investment, you know, this year, 2000, yep. 2018 was pretty much testing the gear. This is when we started the live show. This is where we, you know, started an official podcast. Um, and I think that, you know, we had a good solid year of just testing gear and seeing if we can be self. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-efficient. Yeah, just you know, trying to be as, on as our creatives. own, not depending on anybody and just learning how we can navigate on our own. Ooh, the camera was bugging for a sec. Oh, I saw that too. You see that? Let me see if I can switch it up and see what happens. Hold on. You saw that the camera was bugging. Yep, and it, it registered in here too because I, I just saw it. So now it's like super dark right now. Hold on. It is mad dark. I wonder if that's a, a setting within the... Um, yeah. Let me check that. Bear with me for a quick sec. Go ahead, go talk with them. Right now? Talk about some of the plans that we got. So, yeah. So, we got together and we came up with milestones and different things we want to do that involves uh, videos, uh, projects, collaboratives. Uh, so, you know, definitely look out for that. Um In the near future, especially for 2019, we're going to be pumping out a whole lot of content. It's going to be dope. Can't wait. So bear with us. Word. Yeah, I feel like this year was like um, a time for like just, you know, seeing, you know, testing the gear, seeing if we can, you know, produce our own stuff at a professional level. 
um, you know, been mixing, been mastering, uh, been recording, been experimenting, even with my style. Um, Gil has been, you know, even uh, uh, writing more, um, creating more music and stuff. And we put them to test. We put them in the, oh, that, the camera's bugging again. All right, there's there's a little bit of malfunction happening with the cam, but we're going to keep pressing forward. So I keep my eye on it. Bear with us, man. This is live right now. That's crazy. And we legit, like I said, man, I flew over here um, and got everything ready real quick. So we're off and running. But anyway, so we're excited, man. Um, I'm going to share some stuff exclusive. Uh, I, did, I didn't make an official announcement about um, about the uh, an EP that I just dropped. Yeah. Just randomly. Um, and we're going to be going through some of the, the tracks. Actually, I want to go through all of them. We don't have to listen to every single one of them. Like, yeah. just give you guys a, a quick teaser, you know, of the EP and go check out for the, for that EP. Gil, can you share the link and I can yep. pin it, um, to the thing as well. And you guys can go check out that link. It's available now everywhere. Um, and that link, uh, will take you to pretty much all the main stores that it's available at. Um, thanks Gil. I think, I don't think that's the one, bro. It is the one. Hold up. I took it directly from the link you sent me. But that's not the actual link. Yeah. Go to go to the link I sent you and try to copy and paste. But there's a link right there that Gil shared. I'll pin that one there. So it's called Grace in the Furnace is the name of the project. And um I would do it right. It shows you. Yeah, it shows. Yeah, so that's cool. You we can we can again? leave that. That's fine. No, no, leave it. Um, so I'll put a uh, link in the description as well for you guys to go check it out. It was unreleased tracks that I had um, that I loved, you know, and I wanted to get out. I felt it was necessary to get out there, but I didn't have any place for them. Yeah, you know, so it was supposed to be a part of Grace in the Furnace. That was the name of the EP. So I had two EPs when I joined with Wrath and Grace. I combined both EPs. We created one album, and then there was some songs that that we didn't that couldn't make it you know what i mean and so i had them in the cut and i was like yo these songs are fire like to me these songs are personal to me fire to me um and they were more of the current you know up-to-date kind of style that i was Mm. doing um even though now i've progressed even from there so it's not even like a real good indicator of where i'm at because we got new projects that's that's going to be dropping in 2019 that i'm Ex- super excited about and we have a collaborative ep yep. um the first quarter that's going to be uh one of the projects that we're dropping and I, i'm i'm excited about it man it's everybody has their own unique style their own unique swag and then you got gill in there singing you yeah. know so it, it's just it's, a- it's, it's it's what i liked is that just the individuality of how everyone sounded too like it's not even just swag but even the sound yeah it's just so crazy the way it came together. And yeah, because I feel like it's not like, you know, it's not trying to imitate a sound that's out there. It's not yeah. trying to be forced yeah. like a trendy. It stands on its own. We had, an int- it we had an intention though with that project. And here I am like selling that project right now like that. Like that. <laughs> Yo, because I'm excited about your that EP. project, man. The <laughs> dynamic on that, man. Like it's, it's crazy, man. I'm excited about that. I love collaborative projects, man. Yeah. Because of that reason like i love both i love the solo you know artists the solo projects because it really kind of highlights their skills mm. you know what i mean and it shows you you know their strengths and uh you get to really know you know the artists especially yeah, yeah, yeah. if they have like a lot of dynamic you know i don't want to re- make any references but uh <laughs> you know what but I'm i saying? mean the but collaborative, the collaborative gives you a different flavor yeah you know what i'm saying like i can only sound like one way i can't be like singing like you and <laughs> Yeah, and rapping like me, at and that's the same why it's time. dope. Like, because everybody's bringing their own unique sound, and it just comes together, and it's freaking. I can't even know what to say. It, the way it blew me away, how it, how just smoothly came together. Yeah. Because I've never worked with these artists before. Yeah, yeah. Um, Other than you, you're I've, the only I've worked person. with. I, well, I've worked with. Yeah, I've worked with all of you actually. Before this. Yeah, except for one of you. Ah. Because, you know, obviously, you know the other one. Yeah. And yeah. then, of course, us. Like, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, we've been working together since Angel of Love. Angel of Angel. Love. <laughs> Dang. Man, we were doing gospel since. <laughs> y'all don't even need to know how long that was. All y'all need to hear is the title. Angel that title. of Love. Angel of Love. Do you Dude, know that sounds like something that was from way back in the this day? This is this is when we first like figured out like 
you you were a singer, I was a rapper. This is when we first figured out we were artists. Yeah, I remember how excited you was. You was like, yo, you're going to be on this track and you're going to write something. Dude, like, dude, I never yo, wrote in my life. Yo, you remember that, the song that you did, the Spanish one? Dan, that was Dan, after. Dan, Dan, That's when Dan. I started to get confident. I was like, all right, I got this. And that was my I beat. Got this. That was my beat, yo. Yeah. I made that beat on the MP7, bro. The EMU, my first beat machine I ever bought. That's <laughs> I made that beat off of that thing. Yeah, Dan, that was the one that Dan, you. Dan, Dan, you Dan. This dude has got a job just to buy a beat machine and then quit. That's how much yeah. he wanted that beat machine. Actually, my pops, my pops is in there. He could testify to that. Yo, this That's dude when I got, got a job, busted his butt just to get enough for this beat was, machine. Uh, yeah. Yep. And was like, yep. out. I got what I I think I it was needed. like twenty four, twenty five hundred dollars or something like that for the beat machine. That's something crazy. like that. And That's I was crazy. and I was working just to get it. And I got it. But anyway, what what were we talking about? <laughs> Dang. Angel of Love. <laughs> Angel of Love. How that started. That you and I Angel first started with that of song. Love. So ex- yeah. <laughs> nah, never mind. <laughs> we can go into it. It's nah, up to nah, you. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so I see Mark in here. What up, my dude? DI, my pops is up in here. Yeah. What up, everybody jumping in? Uh, we're gonna go through some tracks. We don't got nothing on the dock. Um, this is just on the fly. Oh, you <laughs> got you, you got chilling. your your whole fam watching too, right? Yeah, pretty, I think uh, I think my grandma was up in here. I think <laughs> the tribe of Judah. Well, I just came from there, so <laughs> they know I'm on. So, um, so right. what's up, everybody? If you're watching, Merry Christmas, to Merry everybody. Christmas. That's why Gil got the cap on. Yeah, keep the spirit alive. So talk about that, man. Like, what do you say about people who say like this is a, this is idol worship, bro? What are you doing? Ah, uh, come on now. It's no different than wearing a Superman shirt. What do you mean? A Superman shirt. Elaborate. I'm not I'm not wearing it because I idolize him or I worship him. Yeah, I feel like you were I like the for character. that question, bro. I feel like it's the same thing. I feel like you were like, this you know is, what? I know he's gonna serve me up with that. People one, so. need to stop being so overly sensitive because this whole thing is an idea. There is no presence, there is no spirit, it is an idea. And if you really go deep, Santa Claus was perpetuated by Coca Cola to sell more soda. Mm. the red and white comes from coca-cola do your homework so it's all ideas so don't give it more than it needs it's santa claus it's cool my kid knows it's fake just like so what do you tell you what do you tell your kid you say i mean my daughter is not old enough to understand yet she's still learning to speak but when she does i'm gonna let her know just like i would explain superman or batman Uh, but what i'm saying is are you gonna do the whole tree and the oh yeah the gifts the cookie Cookies and milk? No. That, no the cookies tree. and milk? <laughs> I could do a tree and some gifts. Don't tell me you put cookies and milk up. For oh, no, me you, to eat. <laughs> no, no, you did the um, the Three Kings, right? That's well, how the Puerto Ricans do it. Yeah, the Puerto Ricans, they do the Three Kings, um, but it's not on the 24th, They're like, get that though. Santa out. Get it's that not, it's not on I mean, the 25th. It's not on the 25th. It's actually like <laughs> January 6th. And I'm like, why is that? And it's exactly that. Because Puerto Ricans are like, I'm not giving no credit <laughs> for my hard work to yeah. some fat dude. Yeah, yeah. That, that you're, don't even you're, exist. You're leaving out some some characteristics, but the white guy, <laughs> the, the fat white guy. Yeah. Sh- sh- I'm sorry. You know what? Don't matter what race anybody shows but up he in was my crib. Based on, he was based off. He was based off a true person, though. The story yeah. of Santa was based off a true person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was based, but then they made it extra. Yeah. And, extra you know, somebody who just wanted to genuinely give children gifts <laughs> then they gave him a sleigh powers he delivers to the world in one night i'm like <laughs> dang <laughs> it's like relax but what about the people that say yo that's messed up man you're taking the the childhood you know experience oh my away God. from the child like i'm gonna tell you right you now know, my mom told me santa claus all wasn't real because she works her fantasy. butt off for them gifts <laughs> And I turned out just fine. Uh, well, did I, you believe in Santa the whole time? <laughs> oh, no, I, just, I beg, I beg to differ. Why did you have to become country? <laughs> I beg to differ. I beg. No. So, what was the question? I'm sorry. Um, I'm saying, don't flip it off. So, go ahead. You made me lose are my you, concentration. Are you going to do Santa Claus mm-hmm. bringing down gifts in the chimney? No, not or the chimney. Are you going to do? The Three Kings. If I have to choose between the two, I would do the Three Kings because at least that's a factual story. 
It's not made up. It's if you not... want to be consistent with the story, the three kings brought the gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's the so the story is the three kings come and drop the gifts off. Yes, that's the thing that on they camels. Do. Yeah. So what they so do they, is do they fly in the sky on camels. No, no, no. What they do is is they. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> how, they, how the camels get around the world? Who Puerto they, Ricans exaggerated that too? <laughs> the camels Does it only come to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> the camels are on the water, like 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 Santa was not going to Puyo. <laughs> <laughs> they're like yo, yo like, they even coming to like, PR, yo, Santa Claus not coming to Puerto Rico really? <laughs> so we gotta come up with something oh, guys yeah. we got three kings how about oh, yeah. that we're gonna do the three king that's what we're gonna they do they knew Santa wasn't coming to PR so they did the three kings <laughs> don't you leave hay out for the you that's leave hay do. on the ground you, out no, for you, the camels under the bed you're supposed to put hay under the bed oh, and then my. they find gifts on the bed. At oh, least the you, Puerto they, Ricans. They don't, have tr- they don't have a tree. Yeah, they don't have trees. So they do I thought they would the do bed. like a manger or something. Yeah, like. so the parents are like, don't forget to put hay under the bed because they come con tu ire. And does, do they say it like that first well, of all? They say it in Spanish, but you don't know Spanish, so I have to say it in English. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my dude. What's up, man? Thanks for joining us. I'm going to be showing some... Uh, some songs, some tracks, but we're bugging out right now, so just bear with us, man. We're just having fun. You know yeah, how it is. you know. But uh, yeah, Mike, man, I love you, bro. Um, Christian love. Shout out to Mike. Mike, what is it? Mike, is it Mike five? Wait, Mike, what? throw your throw your link up, man. Throw throw your page up. Mike is a DJ. <laughs> Mike <laughs> is a DJ. Throw your deuces up. He's actually. Oh, I can't make announcements, right? No. What announcement about Mike and then in his Why project? Not? All right, tell her you. That's your thing. Uh, well, he's been posting it. Um, that you know, there's some works. In the uh, there's some music in the works to be on a mixtape that um, Mr. Michael is putting together, so it's gonna be dope. I can't wait to hear it. Word, yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. Let me know. It's gonna be dope, man. Um, so a reform mixtape. So you leave hay under the bed. Yes, and the camels and then, come and, and the eat parents it, come and, and, the, and take the hay out. Yeah, so or the, you lay the so the kids on the can be like, oh, the camel ate it. The camel came into the yeah. room. <laughs> and then you like and some parents are even more gangster and they take the hay and they like shred it up so it looks like ah, they ate it leave trails yeah so they're like look mira they ate it they, mira, they left the reguero <laughs> they left a mess in the back of their heads they're like nah I gotta clean it I remember the first time when I went to PR and I visited them for Christmas into New Year's um, they did that and I was like what is cause you know I was born and raised up here so you know so when I went down there and I seen the dude that's the first time I ever seen that and they were leaving out hay and stuff. I'm like, what? Oh, you going? saw the hay? Yeah. That's dope. I was like, oh, you guys got the three kings, man. That's what's up, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's your Latin kings. So what did your mom do? My mom, we didn't do anything, bro. Because she was, I mean, we was did she the tree. against We Christmas? did the tree, but we didn't do the three kings. But we, she did tell us straight up that there's no Look, Santa. There's no Santa. I'm the one getting you the gifts. <laughs> She's you like, better behave. I'm working hard to buy you all I these got, things. It's I me. Got the list. Okay? He didn't do nothing. I'm like, dang, all right, ma. That was you, you. It was all you. As long as you don't hit me. Uh, at my grandmother's, they sing to baby Jesus. I, every year. Every year. Well, it's funny. That's what they do over there. Like, everybody has their, their thing that yeah, they do. She legit does it, too. She brings out the little, the little baby doll thing. Yeah, for real. And everybody goes around singing happy birthday. She buys a cake. It's it's a it's it's a spectacle. It's a spectacle. Careful, it's, she's watching. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Like the it's whole not. Family's watching. I mean, like it's a real thing. Like it's not like a quick like. Oh, everybody just say happy birthday. No, they got the whole nine. Yeah, it's mad funny, man. I never she's, seen. That. She's hilarious, and it's consistent. Yeah, because I've known year, you yeah. for like, <laughs> I don't know, over ten years, and never failed. I guess like the main, the main thing, happens. like the main thing, is that you know the truth. You know what it actually represents. You don't yeah. want, you don't want people to stray away from the actual purpose of what it is. It's about Christ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that you know it's exact the 25th and the argument of like all that stuff that comes with it. It's just a day to remember, you know, the birth of Christ. You know. So how about you? Do you tell your kids about Santa? Well, someone's calling me. Um, for me, I mean, they know about Santa, you know, the, the fictional story of Santa, yeah. but they know the truth. You know, they know we get them the gifts, you know, um, they just know the truth. 
I'd rather educate them on what's true. You, <laughs> you know, know what I saying? wonder if like parents like to you know, certain parents like to keep it like the real motive behind it. And I may be wrong, but I feel like it's a it's also kind of a cop out for them. Because then if they if the kid doesn't get the gift they really wanted, they could be like, Oh, Santa Claus said no. <laughs> I think maybe for some like, people, maybe, but Cause it's like I think the whole uh, the main thing is just the 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 child the whole thought of fantasy hope you know that kind of stuff is I get the it. whole idea but you can you can have that like we're creatives we do that you yeah. don't have to fantasize this fake reality not only that but there's tons of things that, that in the world that involves creativity and and being able to explore your mind oh imagination More that's than, what they say like yeah. you, you're, you're taking away no but they're saying you're taking away from the imagination. If you don't let them believe in it, the, there's so much more. I'd rather them believe that magic is real over Santa, because at least magic don't take credit from nobody. Like you working your butt off to buy these <laughs> gifts, and in an instant, All Santa right. Claus, Gil is tripping. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's our deep dive on Santa at Christmas time. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting because one of, uh, one of my, uh, my cousins. She's about to have a baby. And Amanda, if you watch him, what's good? And she she posted that. She was like, is it bad that I want to tell my kids there is no Santa? Oh, for oh, this like she legit like Yeah, she posted it. And some people were like, Yeah, you should let them believe it. Blah. And some people were like, nah, tell them to straight up. So I thought it was an interesting topic. Yeah. But, you know, and up honestly also because we're christian and how should we think of it biblically as well but i thought it was an interesting dynamic like well they change it up too because then now they add elf on the shelf yeah you know and now there's this little elf that travels from different rooms (laughs) yeah that i don't understand people think that's cool that they're like yo i put it here and then i woke up in the morning and it was on the other side of the house and everybody was sleeping and nobody saw who did it i'm like um in case you didn't Thanks, know, Mike. that's demonic. <laughs> There's nothing magical about an elf walking on its own to the other side of your house. That's demonic. Yo, that will freak that's, me out. That's dude, not. If they told me that. They, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna look at it like they what, watching like, me like, like Christmas what? wonder. Like, oh, that's magical. It encourages no, good. That thing is being lit on fire for as long as you utilize it for the Christmas season. Then after that, it's like, oh, the elf ain't there. I can do whatever I want. It's like. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. That thing is uh, creepy as heck. Jeff, what up? What up? What up? Where's your hat, bro? <laughs> I know, I know. He was Dude, supposed so, to wear so the Gil, hat. So Gil was like, "Yo, you got a hat, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I got the hat. Don't worry about it." Then I spent like 15 minutes trying to look for the hat. I couldn't find the hat. <laughs> My bad. I had no a sombrero, Christmas spirit. But, yeah. <laughs> what up, Jeff? What's going on? Everybody jumping in. So. Yeah, actually, Jeff, that's a good thing coming in. Um, talking about, you know, mm. teach, teaching your kids about the truth of, of, of well, Santa. Of Santa. Or, you know, should, should you just just let the cat out the bag and be like, sorry, bud, or sorry, little girl, but. Um... Now, with my, with my little ones, you know, I encourage imagination, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I, th- I think I have a huge imagination. Like, I'm not trying to strip anybody from imagination or creativity. Just follow my my content. I think you can you can yeah. see that. Um, but I encourage that. But the whole thing is just reality too, like the truth of what everything is about. You know, the culture, uh, for the most part, when it comes to Christian stuff like Easter, you know, boom, it's the Easter Bunny. Christmas, boom, it's Santa. You know, and they yeah. flip it up, and they always even Halloween. I don't know if that was a thing, but uh, <laughs> a thing of what? Yeah, like a thing based off of something that was biblical. It is. All right, there you go. So, All Hallows Eve, it was supposed to be to celebrate martyrs, like those who have died for the faith. There you go. All right, so then they so flipped. all of them were flipped. There's not one holiday that wasn't Christian at first. Yeah, so I just I just try to you know keep it to the truth. You know what I mean? And just that doesn't mean you're you're discouraging any kind of imagination at all. You know, um, yeah. it's, it's better to t- I don't I don't know. Like I feel like this is like basic. <laughs> Sorry, man. Like. It is. <laughs> It really is. Like, this is like, come on. Uh, but at the same but time, like, you know, nowadays, but, but you know what, truthfully, people have a huge opinions on how you raise No, kids. it's true. It's true. Because you know what? There was a time where I questioned that. 
Yeah. When I was more immature in the faith, like I was just new to all this stuff. There was a time where I was, I was thinking like, am I idolizing? Like, am I, mm. you know, this Christmas tree with lights on it? Like, am Man, I just, yo, not to I go guess on there a, was a time. Not you know? to go on a deep dive, but I even remember someone saying, even the process of you putting the present on the tree is idol worship to the tree because oh. you're bending down <laughs> you're like putting this and you're oh like goodness, you're like bowing down to the tree extreme, and man. i'm like dang really right. did you see a pyramid in the shape as well when i bent down so was that well, the tree, the tree is a, oh the tree is the pyramid <laughs> you put the star on the top right exactly it's the, it's the eye, the, i all see an eye they're like you praising the illuminati guys yeah so when this page gets cut off y'all know what's up <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know uh, what's up. All right, cool. One of these days, we're going to have a beam light and we're just going to fly out. <laughs> no, they're going <laughs> to run right in. The thing's power's going to cut off. Yo. Uh, that's funny, bro. All right, so yeah, yeah cool. Let's, um, let's take a quick break and show um, one of these tracks, man. Yeah. Uh, so this is based off of uh, Grace in the Furnace. Like I said, it's a bunch of tracks that I had unreleased um dare to me like i love these tracks and i felt like they needed to get out there so i just dropped a surprise ep you know just just for just to do it so it's available everywhere um it, it just became available everywhere uh yesterday actually so you can hear it on wherever you listen to music like i made it available everywhere so no one no one has a complaint because that's the main complaint that i hear from a lot of people like oh it's not on on this one or it's not on that one like yeah. everybody wants to access it the way that they want to access and it. And most of the people now in the streaming game, they're like either Spotify or, you know, the um, Apple streaming. And yeah. So everybody's on some sort of streaming. So if, if you're not putting it up there, you're losing out on listeners. Even though well, the, 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 the um, payout is like fractions, but still you, you're giving people access to your music that wouldn't normally hear it. And at the end of the day, they still have the choice to buy it. I, I understand the argument of the creative when they're making a, a you know an investment of their time their their money their every literally everything just to get a project out. Um, no, I get it. I've done I, it. I understand that in the, in mm -hmm. the argument of I should get paid you know to do what I love to do, but unfortunately the way things are set up right now, it's not the consumer's fault for a platform that exists. Yeah. Um. That's you know it, it's abiding by the law it's not breaking the law i mean it's a little unfair but that takes that takes a voice you know a lot of people standing the creative standing for their rights and trying to shift that you know what i'm saying and that's gonna mm -hmm. that's a long-term thing everyone's just trying to figure it out you know what i mean um yeah. and i think right now they're settling with those streaming services and things like that because don't you aren't you your apple music right yeah you pay for apple music mm -hmm. services yep monthly. so for you uh are you gonna go out of your way Unless you're a fan of somebody, you know, um, but for the most part, like, does it make sense for you to choose a different way of purchasing when you're already paying a subscription? Yeah, for, I, the, I, for the services that I don't want to double pay. You don't want to. Yeah. Just yeah. being honest. Right. Just being real. It, it is what it is. You just being yeah. real. Like I pay for these services. And not only that, like I hate to sound lazy, but it's just a different process because now I have to go and purchase it, download it then move the file over and it's like it's just more of a hassle where nowadays everything yeah, it is, is just Christian. one right. button stream so now when i have my streaming service when i use apple i open up the app select done Boom. done where if i want to listen to an album like you know let's say you released an album and you only did it on itunes i gotta open up itunes i gotta type mario find you uh, download it. Wait till it downloads. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's, it's all about convenience. Yeah, you know, customer service. I hate and to sound lazy because technically it does download pretty fast, but it's not the same to when I just go to the stream and hit Mario, hit enter, done. Dude, I got I have somebody uh, who subscribes on my Bandcamp. You know what I mean? And for him, like that's he pays you know monthly. Because mm. he supports, he supports the music and everything, and um, he just prefers Bandcamp. He just, you know, he's a fan. He that's likes my platform. stuff. He supports it, and that's his platform. Yeah, he that's what he's familiar with. So I uploaded there just for the subscribers there. 
You know what I'm saying? That's and I fine. try to make it accessible to everybody because I, I, it's all about serving. Again, like when it comes down to it, you know, if we're, you're a creative and you need to pay the bills and the music is really not paying those bills, then get that full time job and just, you know, get to that point where you're comfortable to just serve, you know, your audience. And that's what we desire. You know what I'm saying? Just serve. Just serve, man. Put the work in. Put it out. Make it available for everybody. So we're going to yeah. dive into this right here. Um, you know, people are asking, um, is the EP under your name? Yes, Mario Esco, exactly how it says on the music page. You can check it out any, literally anywhere. Google it. Um, it's called Grace in a Furnace. You'll see a picture of me. You Actually, we're going to show it right now. So this is the first track off of uh, Grace in a Furnace. Um, and it's called From the Womb. It's pretty much my testimony. I showed this track before on the show, so if you follow the show, you probably already heard it. I'm not going to play all of them, um, except for I might play the last one just for y'all. I'm, yeah. I'm going to play the last one yeah, straight just through for just for y'all. Now, so we'll, we'll, we'll show little snippets of each one. There's only uh, four tracks on the EP, um, small project, but uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's, let's jump into this one. It's From the Womb, Grace You. Uh, Grace to you. Grace in the Furnace. <laughs> Sponsored by Grace to you. Uh, it really is. owe me a check. <laughs> Here we go. From the womb. It's a long story, but I'll see what I can get out in the first verse. Yeah. From the womb to the streets, boom, back beats the seat, the heat under the seat. Yeah. Where hustlers never sleep, and cheaters love to sneak. They steep low and creep low, not even caring about who's watching them through the peephole. Yeah. I know these people so well, I came, came from, from it. it. Even though mom and pops kept me away I from it, I went back on the mission to get a name from it. Started producing and spitting, wanted my fame from yeah. it. What did you know? Something good actually came from it. Met a Christian with the Bible who proclaimed from it. Told me about sin. In hell and how to be safe from yeah. it Told me his name from yeah. it Wasn't the same from nah. it I started reading till the sun rise every day. every day He gave me sight to see his sun rise on the page yeah. I'm like this something strange yeah. I don't feel the same nah. The Holy Spirit made a change Now believe his name Hey yo, My pastor says to share a testimony Not a testimony So I'm not trying to glorify my sins Or anything like that but It's facts, it's truth, you know Man, I wasn't, I wasn't always living the life I was living, man. I think it's the same for all of us, right? Yeah. Listen, come on. Uh, the crew's tripping like yo. What did he do with it? Blame it on the preacher, but let me teach you the truth, Rick. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's uh, from the womb. Um, it's pretty much my testimony. Um, that's that vibe music. Yeah, man. When you I was just listening to your whip, you know what I like to do, man? Just take a ride. You know what I like to do? I, I go off of vibes, bro. When I pick yeah. my my music, I let I let the production, I let the professional behind the keyboard and and the, and the pads mm. do his thing and let let him zone out and create that vibe. It's weird. All right, I, I'm a, <laughs> this is weird. You remember the movie Avatar? <laughs> Avatar, like with the yeah, arrow. It's, it's weird. No, no, no. The the blue the blue creatures. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you remember when he had to pick his dragon? Yes. And he had to like become one unified with the yeah. the thing that's how i feel about the producer and the, and the recording artist so you have a tail that comes out okay i what <laughs> connects with the beat somehow so it, you mentally, like wrestle it down mentally no you no mentally it down like beat. Nah, it, you know what gonna be mine. In this, no in this case it's the beat <laughs> trying to tell me like oh the beat got so the beat got you to the ground yeah the beat the beat got it like <laughs> i don't know if i got any creatives up in here who could who could relate to that but yeah, the beat got to like do his, it got to say something to me. Mm. I, it's weird to say, but that's the, the truth. When I listen to the production, that production needs to come alive and tell me something. Mm. I don't just, you know, just random whatever. Even though I, ca I could, I do that sometimes actually when somebody's like, yo, can you jump on this collaboration? Stuff like that. You just do what you do. Yeah. Lucky you. Um, the video that I just put out for that with uh, Di, that was Di challenge. That was more of a challenging thing. That wasn't a vibe thing. That was Damn. like, all right, can I do this? It was a challenge as a creative. Can I spit like this? Can I flow like this? Can I? How can I record this? Can I maintain well, you know, my endurance that, in the that booth? type of track is not a track you vibe to. That's something like you listen to to 
try to figure out what the hell they're saying because it rap so fast. That's more of a like you want to listen to it because it's cool. Like, yo, right. this is a cool song. Oh, oh live video. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. We're back on. Sorry. This is a thing with uh, it, sh- it should be back up. We're good. Sorry about that little yeah. hiccup. There's a bunch of little hiccups happening today, man. What's up with that? <laughs> the gear, the gear is like not today, man. We oh, chilling. Yeah. yeah, it should be out back on. Yeah, it's gonna be back up. But anyway, um, yeah, we're back up. I see the thumbs coming up. Uh so yeah, so I like to let the let the beat like we're just gonna keep yo, if if that the camera goes out, whatever, we're just gonna keep rocking. I yeah. got a backup recording of this thing anyway, and we'll put it up. So uh forgive me if it does cut out for any reason. That's just a heads up. Um, but we're gonna keep rocking. So um yeah, man. So the, with that beat, like I felt like that's what it was telling me. Like I listened to it, I let it tell me, and the vibe was like just like, "Yo, tell your story." It was like a story time. Mm. It had that, you know, that swag to it, that jazzy kind of swag. Like it just, it was a perfect pocket for me to tell the narrative, you mm. know, of a story. So I went with my testimony. That's dope. And there you go. You, know? you guys so, should check it out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be dope. For you guys to check out and uh, definitely give us feedback because that's how we get better. Tight. Yo, Christian um, says tight. Um, Michael puts fire. Yo, thank you guys, man. I appreciate the love. Um, so let's let's um, let's move on to the next one, man. This one's called uh, Love You. Um, it's, a, it's a more softer side, mm. you know? So this one, you can feel that raw, rugged, you know? You're that, rassing on this one. Dun, dun. So this one here, this is more on the softer side. This is, obviously, you can tell with the title, Love You. Um, I have a visual. I'm going to be putting out visuals to a few of these as well because I enjoy doing it. Uh, and I, and I think it'll drag, you know, it'll, it'll uh, cause more attention to the project. So I do want to try to promote it. But it really is just a passion project. It really is just me. Like, yeah. let me get this out there, you know. So here you go. Love you. I know they watching me, every move that I make Disapproving my mistakes, but maneuver like a snake Remove the face, you only find a fake But who am I to judge? I'm moving just the same Mario Esco, don't be fooled by the name No money or fame, looking for someone to blame And saying that no, you thought I was a perfect saint I hate to burst your bubble, but perfect I ain't About to lose a few fans for the sake of truth But for the sake of truth, I can't forsake the booth See the C H H. these are dude like me Who ain't afraid to get it in and speak the truth like me And if you're just like me, then you just might be Another sinner putting trust in the G-O-D If we don't believe the sun, then we are free Not cause of anything I done, nah, he chose me And I love you, for everything you done to your son The glorious one, forever I love you And it wasn't cause of anything I done, it's because of your son Forever I love you no, I know why The reason I love you You came through and opened up my eyes Forever I okay. love you Now that I got that off my chest Take the cape off and throw it on the ground with the S Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up <laughs> Hold up, hold up That's, that's love you um, I, have some, I have some cool concepts for that one, man Yeah, yeah uh, for, that's for gonna visuals. be sick. Yeah yeah, I want to bring it to something that's genuine, bro. Like, I, I, I want to kind of switch it up. You know mm. what I mean? And like, I think, you know, at this at this point where we're at as creatives, um, we're at a point where we're we're comfortable with the gear, yeah, side of things. You know what yeah. I mean? So now it's time to buckle down and be creative with everything that we already experienced and learned along the way. Um, and I think that you know a part of that. You know, um, as as people are watching and as we're aging, you know what I mean? Like yeah. we can inspire those coming, you know, after us, you know, mm. coming up under us and, and wanting to do these experiment with these I mean, kind of, ultimately, show them how to age gracefully, like yeah. show them I'm a family man, you know, I'm a husband, father, like yeah, and I'm still rapping. So what makes it corny is the is the dude trying to chase relevance. Mm. What makes it corny is the dude trying to be something he's not. Trying to stay young. Trying to stay young. Like, yo, just embrace what you are, man. And mm. so I want to do more creative things in that space. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, just 
teach the creators how to age gracefully and like not you could be there's a dude out there I forgot I mean, his name ultimately doing that is what's gonna continue the legacy and moving forward and help build you know this platform to what it should be to its full potential if everybody just worries about themselves you know what I'm saying and their own relevance and, and that's it it's there's no way new artists are gonna be inspired to grow and, and wanna do the same thing as you Right. All you did was think of yourself. Right. It's all about the next generation. Yeah. I think it's better to aim to be a trend, a trendsetter. Mm. You know, aim for originality, but aim for and originality doesn't mean like a cop out for crap. True. <laughs> like, oh, this is original. No, that's <laughs> definitely yeah, original crap. Yeah. <laughs> original <laughs> crap. A, you definitely got me there. But like you gotta be there is a standard universal, you know, a universal standard. Like an industry standard is what I'm trying to say, yeah. you know. So meet the industry standard, but set the trend. Mm. Don't don't try to imitate the trend, but meet the industry standard. Don't don't yeah, yeah, yeah. don't do a, a you half, just have your you production know, on point and your sound. Yeah, and your exactly. Mixing. Yeah, definitely because stay that, in your lane. Yes, fact. Stay in your lane. Facts. Yeah. That's that's what we should do is stay in our lane, but at the same time, don't be afraid to innovate. Yep. And and come up with something fresh and new or or try to attempt a, a, a version that no one's really heard of. You know, it could be anything. Yeah. So uh, this next one up, Kingdom Come, this is featuring. Yo, I, you hear that? Yeah, it's a bit of a little bit of what a feedback. That? I think it's from my headphone. Now, can you hear it? No. Ah, it's from my headphone. My bad. Man, all kinds of stuff. Uh, all right. Yeah, so this. Oh, mine is doing it too now. It's your, it's your headphone. That's why it's your headphone is too close to the to the mic, dude. That's what it is. Like it's get it's doing feedback. Cool. There we go. It's it's cool how we could troubleshoot right on the spot, Mike. You know how that is. <laughs> this is an everyday thing. <laughs> you already yeah. know what's up. The feedback from the head the headset. We need an engineer. <laughs> no, we figured it out. All right, all right, cool. So this next track is Kingdom Come, featuring yours yours truly, your boy Gil Vargas. Here we go. That's Kingdom Come featuring your boy Gil Vargas. That that was a difficult track, man, to to mix and master. Yeah, that was a difficult, difficult it's, track. It sound, it's a very busy. Yeah, beat. like the beat alone is just so full, like it just yeah. completely overtakes the entire frequency spectrum. Mm. You know, so it's like to to and I had it is 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 two track. It wasn't multi track, so I had to like be very strategic and, and careful with it you know and even then it was still a challenge um I'm sure but, yo, it was but you killed it man you did i appreciate thing, bro. it bro you know 
Hey! Can I, can I have an un otra cafe, por, por favor? Ooh. There's my, my attempt at Spanish right now. His Spanish Wife, Wifey bag. just got back. I love you, mama. Yeah, she's waving. <laughs> you want one too? Oh, you saw it was fingers. Thank you, mama. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. So yeah, so yeah, that one was uh was difficult um to to mix and master, but um I did, you know, I think I did all right. I think it sounds straight. You think so? Yeah. I definitely learned a lot of techniques from that one though that I, I applied know. to our other projects. I got like, I like 15,000 versions of that song. Yo. Because <laughs> every no, single time Mario mixed 22. it. He's it's like, literally 22. literally 22 versions of He's that like, song. yo, check this no one lie. out. No lie. Yo, check this one out. Yo, check this one out. I'm like, dang, bro, this is crazy. I know. And I, then it, it came to a point where I was like, yo, my bad, bro. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> the 30th that point, time. Years with math fatigue, yo, you were sir, just like, everything sir. sounds dope. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> that, After like 20 I'm like good Everything yeah, 20, sounds good everything I haven't even hit play yet And I'm like it's good And I'm already at that point Where I'm like I'm throwing this out <laughs> <laughs> Like no I'm like out. nah man Like nah It's a fire track man The concept You know everything About it It's just The the beat itself Was just a nightmare man And I didn't I don't know what Originally Why that I know you don't Normally I don't, pick That is busy not beats. That is like Unlike any beat i've ever tried to spit on everybody has one like it was that, that one choose, that was like, and then man, you, why you did go I, back like, why like did what what that? got me on that like <laughs> but i think for what it stands for like what it represents i think is fire like yeah. what it stands for what it represents kingdom come um that's that's the whole concept that's what the beat was telling me when i was listening to it you can kind of hear where i got that that concept because you hear like the strings and it's super like cinematic and mm. you know it, it made me think of a kingdom you know what i mean like yeah that's what it made me think of i can hear that you know so that's like what the, i want the, the the violins and yeah i can see that it sounds epic you know I what i mean like about to epic go to war. battle about to happen you know so that's yeah. that's where the the concept came from so this other track this other track i'm gonna let play through bro um i love this track um this one, this one, this one's called the King, um, oh. and and pretty much it's a, it's a story about three different individuals, and this is about like a five minute long um, song, but you know, I'm I'm gonna let it play, I'm gonna let it play, y'all, you know, enjoy it, hope you're blessed. Um, it's three different characters in the beginning. Should I explain it or no? I'll explain it after. Uh yeah, we'll go after after. All right, cool. So you'll hear three different stories at least. So it's broken up with uh, uh, the choruses, obviously, um, and the verses are pretty long. They're not the average sixteen, so it's a lot of just bars. And I I got to really unfold each character's story mm. from you know you, I let it play. Just out. might we'll as well explain it now. Then I let it play out. You guys listen to it, and then we'll talk about it after. All right, All right. here we go. The king. already misled what about the slugs that i already spread huh wait a minute 
what about that? Christ saves, man, I shouldn't doubt that. What about the Old Testament outcast? Best comparisons, slight contrast. Feeling like, oh man, I just might last. Forgiven for the sins I committed in the past. Present, future, none of them will last. Against the Holy One who drank and never passed. Even though he has fulfilled his mission. No wonder why they be killing Christians. No wonder I never paid attention. No other God could have made the distance. Oh, never mind, you don't want to listen. You crazy, what's next? Don't want to miss it. I'm reading the Bible like my only mission. I'm telling the fellas if they will only listen. Homie, listen. Listen about me. Go ahead and doubt me. Hate to disappoint you, I'm saying it proudly. Saying it loudly. Grace surrounds me. Many are lost in this case, he found me. Close the case, replace it that bound me. To think when I'm done with this race, he crowns me. Never would have loved you, your grace allowed me. Lord, 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 you're yeah, the king yeah, of yeah. my life. But it doesn't make sense, doesn't make dollars, the pitch too tense Not a single hour that I can expense, no offense but time is money, the time is now You taking it from me, I think you're mistaking me for one of these dummies Serious about the cash, it ain't funny, listen I know you on a mission, a man full of conviction Serving your Christ, wanna see me Christian but No time for the fiction but Sometimes feel I'm missing something Goals man, am I missing something? Money, fame, I ain't missing nothing What it mean though? Nothing Man, nothing at all No love from it all Then it's cause of the fall Live, died, resurrected And it's only for those elected He doesn't suffer for all Hold up, don't interrupt I'm on the call Man, I'm feeling like Saul The day he became Paul Feel I might fall But I'm gonna stay tall Whenever my Lord calls I'll never commit stall So I ain't gonna stall that This call don't exist Ain't no call back Full of sin And he died for all that In Christ I'm alive So fall back Feels like I'm a rise So I fall flat Gave sight to my eyes See you know that Thank God no lie Not a small fact What he did Always on my head Like a ball cap Lord, 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 Lord You're the king of my life Yeah, yeah You're the king of my life Yeah, yeah You're the king of my life Lord, hey You're the king, Lord Lord, Lord, Lord Yeah, 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 yeah So that's uh the king Um that's the king right there. Three verses, um, a different, a different uh, story for each character. Uh, what I wanted to do originally, and I'll, I'll say it because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> what? But originally, so the story was you got the first verse, um, and it's about it's a it's a it's a poor man who's mm-hmm. a Christian, and he's actually serving on the streets, giving people the gospel. So it's just this poor guy on the street corner just p- preaching to people. Yeah. You know, this homeless man. What made you think of this? I don't know. I just, I heard the beat and I was just like, oh, this is, I can go in on these stories, you know? Um, and then I went, I went with that story first. I just, I just kind of like, went, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. now I need napkins. The computer. Now I need napkins. Dang. It's been christened. So yeah, that happens, huh? Today Thank is you, just uh, it's a, a day. it's a one of those days, man. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Seriously, it's it just is. It just is. I would but, say it's uh, a Freaky Friday, but we don't do Fridays anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, so it was uh, no, it's a test, bro. It's like yo, so we got plans to do this. Yo, we'll talk about that in a sec. But yeah. so the first verse was <clears throat> the the dude. You know the the homeless man preaching, yep. and then what I what what I wanted to do was have like the hood dude like rolled up to at a at a traffic light, mm. and he hears the bum the the poor the poor dude preaching right, and so then he drives off and he's like, and that's when I start with man what he said, really playing with my head, and now he's going through, oh my bad baby hold on, uh, no I don't I didn't really like Your clean mouse. it properly but mouse. my mouse my yeah. my mouse is all right. Um. So um. So then he hears the dude preaching, right? And then he drives off. Yeah. And then I was gonna have him like, 
he's driving like he's going back like he's dri- he's whatever he's doing i don't i didn't know the i didn't unfold it i just knew that it was somebody you know from the inner city like maybe you know a drug dealer whatever it is you know what i'm saying i talk about his story you know what he went through this gang banger and he's hearing this dude preach from the side he's like man and it's sitting with him he mm-hmm. didn't he wasn't like he just had his windows down and he heard the dude preaching and then he took off and now he's like it's kind of messing with him and it's just the lord you know calling upon him so i wanted to that to unfold and then i wanted another car to roll up same same dude same homeless man preaching in the corner and this time it's like a dope car like you know this dude got money he's a business owner and that's when he's like uh uh what do you say man i don't even know what the third verse said anyway the dude the dude saying like man uh man it really makes sense but it doesn't make dollars to pitch through tents not a single hour that i can expense no offense but time is money the time is now you're taking it from me like he's mm-hmm. a businessman he's an entrepreneur he's like i don't got time for that you know fictional stuff but then over time it sits with him that that seed was planted and it begins to grow in him and you know again so i had those three different stories you know what i mean that i kind of put together and i wanted to do it that way visually like i wanted the video to be that way those three different characters and that whole scenario and all that that's Um, pretty dope bro yeah that was that was the whole concept behind that um so then yeah so i I put out that track we got uh Christian Love that said the second verse is tight along with the hook. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Um, and I wanted to experiment too with that with that chorus. Like I wanted to experiment a little bit, you know, I'm through the auto tune. Obviously, I wasn't trying to really like sing, sing, like carry notes. But that's you know. his. That's when Mario gets in his rasin bag. My I, rasin. You're gonna have to explain that. That's not like a common <laughs> term. Yeah, rasin is a term I came up with because Mario doesn't sing like a soloist type of singer but he can carry notes he can kind of catch you off guard and you're like oh yo you actually hit that bro like that that actually sounded pretty good and in this song he kind of goes into his rassin bag because he's like rapping but singing so i call it rassin <laughs> so that low, low, rassin. low, low, rassin. low I'm the king. you're the king of my life like yo, oh actually, man, I have a project that I'm working on. That, that sounds kind of good. That's pretty much all that. Like it's gonna be. Ah, I'm excited about it. Anyway, that's an okay. 2019. Mario secretly wants to be a singer. Secretly. Actually, that's a topic for for next week, though. How you secretly want to be a singer? No. Oh, uh, I'm talking about 2019. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not a topic right now. Even though I kind of want to jump in it. What? Just like just like some of the plans that we got for next year. Yeah, we got to wait for that, though. You guys got to come next week, and we're going to lay it out, and you guys going to hear detail, like what we trying to do and, and what the year is going to hold for 2019. I don't know, detail, but, ex- but like... But you're not in detail, like, hint, you know... Like, little plans, little... Yeah. We excited, man. Um, w- Yeah, I can't even... T- so then where you want to go from here, then? Uh, that's what? Yo, that's pretty much the project, y'all, Um, you know, that I just went through, Grace in the Furnace. Um, definitely check that out. Um, Mike said he's gonna spin it. That's what's up, man. Do your thing. Um, let me know. Let me know. Tag me on it if you if you put it out. Any footage or whatever, I'd love to see it and hear about it. Um, and uh, behind the scenes, like we're still we got we got a lot of work. We got yeah. collaborative projects that we're working on. We got ind- uh, solo products uh, projects that we're working on. Um, and we're excited, man. It, it really. Um, you know, I could say this at least without details that we'll talk about next week, just so we have mm. the content to talk about for next week coming into the new year. But um, so we have we have a lot of project. We wanna we wanna focus next year just project. We just wanna get busy on recording and getting the music out there. Um, ultimately, that's what we do. We're recording artists, but along the way, you know, we realized that we had other skills and and, and talents and yeah, and man. other desires that we didn't know was there. At, as we're building and testing and doing all these different things, yeah, we're just trying to prove, you know, put out the best possible content for you guys um, in every aspect, not just in one lane, but you know, we we. We've been honing our skills to, you know, provide you guys more than just one thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, we want to, we want to, I mean, multi, right? Multi, multimedia is is what we have in mind, visually, audibly, um, 
you know, even live, like just interacting back and forth live. We have ideas that we want to do as far as even like the set um, and not be locked to one location. Like we're even thinking of like taking it on the road. Like, that you know what sick. I'm saying? Like do, do different locations, different things sick. like that. And like actually take this on the road, like have the yeah. experience, you know. Um, we'll do it like a tour or something, you know, type yeah. of thing. That would be kind of dope. A little local tour. I was trying at one point with the, uh, I built my own little, whatever, my own little contraption thing. Remember that? I bought, the, for I bought the tablet and I had the tablet on the GH5 oh, and I was like yeah. trying, to, trying to do like a live feed from like, from my from GH5. The iPad. Yeah, from the iPad on That's the GH5. Crazy. On the hot spot on my mobile, <laughs> like, yeah, that was a hot mess because the internet was, was not was strong way too enough. Many variables, man. It was like, this is way. He's like, dude, if I connect this, if I with yo, this, I started buying these different adapters and everything. Then like, he lost me. He's like, I'm gonna bypass this, and then I, it's going to override. Yo, it's gonna the override that one. and somehow everyone's, everyone's up, gonna see. Like, it. I'm like, dude. I didn't know. You I got could it do to work. This. I got it to work, but it doesn't work like this with the GH. Like I thought, know? we were going live, and he was building like a spaceship, and, <laughs> and it was just hovering. And I'm like, dude, I thought we were going live. He's like, dude, I created this. Look at it. It's just hovering. It's, it's a, yo, don't they have a hover? Yo, they made a hovering board. You know that? Yeah, right? they did make a hoverboard, which is crazy. They actually made a hover hoverboard. It's nuts, man. All the crazy. all the things we dreamed about as kids are now becoming reality. For real, because that was in the Back to the Future. Even jetpacks. I mean, not flight, but they got water ones. Didn't they have a superhero in a jetpack? Yeah, Rocketeer. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> Did you? Rocketeer was the bomb. I, I was like, that. where do I get one of them packs? I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> no, that movie was fire. No, but they do really have dudes flying around with jetpacks. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you, it's mad money, but. They got them. Yo, one thing that they're doing that's crazy is uh, something called white electricity. You were saying something about that. Explain yep. that. So white electricity is wireless electricity. Wireless electricity. Yeah. So you have a device in every home that wirelessly charges all of your devices. Why do I feel like that's cancer in a new way? Oh, bro. That's well. I don't. It's like a new type of cancer. It's definitely cooking something. It's like what, what kind of cancer you got? I got <laughs> white electricity. Bro, you know cancer. how many different frequencies and stuff is floating around? Exactly. We already got Wi Fi's running through us, and and <laughs> all these radio waves, Bluetooths. Now we're gonna have white energy. No, white <laughs> white energy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what up, Shane? Shane just jumped in. Shane, see, see Yo, what, what happens up, when you're not around? See, man, you got to keep us in line, bro. White electricity, bro. White electricity. Yeah, that's white energy. Yeah, well, I guess. In this <laughs> that sounds like white energy to me. Dude, how do we get into that topic, bro? I don't know. Technology, how things are changing. I have no clue. Cell phones used... Jeff, Wait. yeah, go ahead. Cell phones used to... Yo, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something funny. Not every 12 year old has one. It's so true. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff, you know what Jeff said to me? Jeff was like, "Hey, I got a constructive criticism criticism for you." I said, "All right, cool, yeah." (laughs) He's like, "Um," and he and I could see him trying to think of like how to say it. He goes, "Uh, "Do you read to your kids at night?" (laughs) Why? What do you What do you mean by that? Because we can't read our comments. He was talking. He was talking about the way I read the comments. Oh. Because like, I'm fumbling through, like, ah, uh, she said, uh, It's more eyesight. Yeah, yo, okay, we well, not old. just that, but some people misspell certain things that you're trying to make force a word to make oh, sense. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. You know what I mean? Come on, Jeff. You got to read these <laughs> comments with us. You can see sometimes the comments ain't as grammatical yeah. as you'd like them to be. Yeah, that's bad for you. All right, so what do you say? My bad. I threw you off. He just says cell phones used to cost stupid money. Not every twelve year old has one, which is so Yo, that's true. So true. Wow. I be seeing little kids. So there's like f- like three, four, up to five cell phones in the house. All everybody using Wi Fi plus yeah. the laptops and the. But at the same else. time, Jeff, it's that's not so true. It's not that the cell phones have gotten cheaper. 
it's the cell phone companies have gotten smarter because it's a it's a smaller investment for them to offer free phones with those little bundle bundle deals right because in the long run monthly each phone they're making money Dude, but now and now they finance everything too so exactly i brought i brought my wife to go get the upgrade her phone and they yeah. laid out yo i don't did they do this for you they of course laid they do out, I've never had that experience before like That's that, how bro. they do it now. Now they're like, bum, 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 bum. They're like, like this is how much it costs. The- this is how much your bill's going to be. This is how much the phone is. If you finance it like this, they'll break it no, up no, into not 30 even payments. That, not even that. Not I'm even like, that. what? Not even that. No. I'm talking about the upgrade phone, the case, the screen, the the watch. The Yo, they lay out all the devices right there. No. And you're gonna, you can finance all this. Damn, they didn't do that for me. And you can finance everything. And it's hey, like, your credit, ah, your credit must have been uh-huh. so dope that they were like, bring out the VIP package. <laughs> Let's just lay out all the devices we have in the store. Just long term, uh, you know, it's a it's a long term commitment. And yeah. You don't even look at the interest or anything. You're just like, well, for the but that's what I'm saying. person, like so the company the got smart because they're like, even if we give this phone for free. We're going to make way more in, money in on the their bill run. in the long, in the long run. run. It's like we, we give them a what? A $200 phone? The bill is $200. Shane says, how about going? Oh, I'm supposed to proofread it. Okay, keep talking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Jeff's, Jeff's. No, you're doing it. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> yes, you're proofreading it. <laughs> I'm supposed to proofread. Oh. <laughs> it's proofread what? What do you it's mean? It's too late. What Shay was saying, bro, you're supposed to be, see, you, you, see, I'm glad, I'm glad, you know, we don't have thousands of followers. This is great uh, uh, test. <laughs> All right. Ready? You're supposed to vibe with me, bro. I am vibing. So I'm proofreading and I'm telling you, yo, I'm going to, I'm going to proofread this. You talk and you're proofreading while I'm saying it. Got you. Do <laughs> do vibe with me, man. Like be <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? The vibe original roles of this whole thing was that Mario was gonna control the sound effects and making sure all the Gigi gadgets and you know gizmos works properly, and I was the reading guy. But now he's taking my job too. So the dude is wearing literally every single hat in the book and then yells at me when I'm not doing mine too. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? You already say okay. I can't face palm hard enough right now. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Jeff. Yo, Jeff. you can. You can face palm until you knock yourself out. I, I proofread <laughs> Shane's comment already, and I still don't even know what he said. How about the phones going from large to small to everyone wanting them big again? That's so true too. That is true. Their phones got mad small at one point. Remember the Razor? Yep. The Razor was the Motorola one. And that thing was like this thin and like this small. And then now you know what the it is, bigger is the people, phone is, people, the better. Yeah. Because of the display. Yeah. A lot of people now like the big display. Everything is streaming. So now you can watch Netflix, Hulu, all these different shows right off your phone. with a big old screen. It's yep. magic. And then you have apps to just project to your, to your apps, screen. Apps, everything. Yep. It's freaking awesome. I mean, I almost got the new iPhone, but when they told me the down payment, I was like, Lord, Bro, take the wheel. You know, you know what's crazy <laughs> about what you just said? I think they already have this stuff anyway out there. But a phone that does like the phone will be the main hub of everything. So yeah. like you have you have dock stations like at your TV, like it's not a fire stick, it's not a it's everything's off the phone. Yeah. So That's boom, happening right now. Right there. Yo, like, your console, my- your video game console, like imagine that. Like that no would more, be sick. everything's right out the phone. Like you just, all right, I'm gonna play my games out the phone. Like that's your Xbox. That's, that's your, sick. that's your Netflix. It's pretty that's much your- going to that because literally every app on my phone I can stream to my TV. <laughs> Everyone, YouTube, Hulu, you name it, I can just be like poop and just send it to my my TV. So literally, I really don't need any device. Yeah. Other than my phone and the TV. Because I could just download the app and send it to my TV. Well, yeah. Now you... And now I literally pretty, don't yeah, need a device. Saying, so it's like, it's already there right now. Yeah. Like some people are like, oh, I need to buy this device, the Roku, because I could download apps and all this. I'm like, dude, bro, your some, phone some and of the send games, it. Done. Some of the games that, that my kids are playing on that thing. Oh, the graphics are getting I'm crazy. I'm like, yo, this is, this is Xbox right there in your hands. Yeah. 
Yeah. Forget any little small Switch, Nintendo Switch, and, and now, all that. Like on Amazon, you could buy controllers that you could put your phone on, and it controls your your phone. It's oh, a controller, so, it's, so it makes your your phone a, like a switch. That's, yeah, that's, that's like a PlayStation thing. And you just like this. Wow! You could buy it on Amazon. You just have to find the one for your phone, your specific phone. Yo, he had that joint on Kid Connect with T-Mobile, fifty minutes a month. Kid Connect. Oh, that must be a specific type of plan or something. Fifty minutes. Yo, Jeff, a man, we love you, bro. He said you guys are my favorite Facebook show ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you too, bro. That's, That's what up. we do, man. This is what we do. This is we want people to just come home, chill, vibe with us, and you know, go from there. <laughs> you used to work for um, Sprint, right? I worked for AT and T. AT and T. Yeah. So you that sold was, phones. Yeah. So you were the guy trying to say yeah, sell everybody. Yeah, which is, I thought, it, and the thing is, the reason why they do that is the sense of ownership. That's the technique. For all y'all people out there, if you go to a store and they hand it to you, it's because they want to give you that sense of ownership. Oh, you about to, you about to. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> about to I'm, I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to help y'all out because this is the sneak moves that they got. They're like, they give it to you in your hand. They're like, oh, look, it's the new iPhone. The would psychology you like, of would you, giving it to your Yeah. Giving they're it like, to your check out the new iPhone. And they put it in your hand. You're like, ooh. Yeah, you open yeah. it up and you're like, oh, oh everything's oh, magical. <laughs> this is a really nice phone. And they're like, oh, you should check out the camera. And you're like, really? <laughs> oh, it takes magnificent photos. And they're like, isn't it great? All of that is a sense of ownership. They're setting your brain to, to understand that you want to own this phone. Or whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be a phone. It could be any product. Why do you think those people in the groceries, I mean, uh, the mall, will come and they'll be like, oh, you want to try these lotions? Oh, and they just touch put it like on that. your hand <laughs> and they rub it in your hands <laughs> and you're like, Yo. now you're stuck and you're like, oh, damn it. Then you go and walk away and you're like, oh, man, my hands are mass off. All the same tech. It's the same technique. Why is my hand soft after you just did that, bro? Like, what's, I, that's, what's, that's, that right there is so glow. So glow. <laughs> Wow. So glow. If y'all don't know, y'all get to know. Yo, what's kind of what kind of shirt what, what's that shirt? What's the that say on your shirt, bro? What was that? What's that say on your shirt? It says presence and chill. Presence and chill. The concept is what? Just get your pet get <laughs> presence, presence get and your chill. presence and be back. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Now you talk. I'm a proofread. Okay. <laughs> And go. <laughs> and action. This is so natural. <laughs> this is so natural right now. <laughs> this is not bro, scripted. This is not scripted at all. Like, and go. read and talk. Well, you <laughs> how are we gonna do commercials? Like, well, if we start getting sponsorship, are we just if gonna, we gonna like, do commercials? Oh, well, they probably give you a script. No, I'm saying like, yeah. So we gotta read it. Yeah, most of the time. All right, so keep. Like if, if if we had a sponsorship from Soul Glow, but like if you want to just touch your friend's hand awkwardly and then let go and have their hands feel silky smooth, try Soul Glow. Wow! <laughs> you didn't did you do that on that purpose? What I just said. <laughs> did you do that on purpose? Because that's genius. If you did, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. Like did you, you do that anything. on purpose? Yeah, that was good. I got to give you that, man. Give me what? You don't even hear what I said. Yes, yeah, you just attention. did a Soul Glow commercial. <laughs> <laughs> without, a, without getting a sponsorship, man. We didn't sign no contract. Uh, Soul Glow. They done away with the phone deals like the... What are you the plan is because of the government. What the, the government? Oh, hey, Shane, Shane is trying to... <laughs> Shane got a conspiracy for everything. Shane is trying to flip it up to conspiracy. He's like, you know why you will never find black toothpaste on the shelf? Wow. <laughs> Serious, seriously, bro? Because there's a depression going on oh. in the country. Oh, <laughs> stupid. Mark, yo, that's Shane, though. He always has some like crazy conspiracy thing that somehow makes no, sense. No, Shane is not the conspiracy guy. It's, it's him and Brent, but for the most part, Shane... Be oh, name dropping. You owe you owe him uh something. 
What? That's an inside thing. How is that an inside? That just started right now. No, you can't be name dropping, bro. What do you mean? It's our peoples. So if you know, you know. Not all of them are like some conspiracies are based off of some truth. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess there's always some truth in everything. All right, let's start with the most obvious one. Mm-hmm. The reptilians. <laughs> the reptilians? What do you mean? No, nah, we won't go to that. <laughs> you talking about in the sewers? The sewers. This ain't no Ninja Turtles, my dude. Right. Hey, okay, so I, I gotta go as you proofread. But you can't be obvious when you proofread, bro. What do you You're mean? literally in the mic. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to appeal to those who read mouth. Okay. It's legit, Shane says. It's legit. <laughs> what is legit? Reptilians. Um, now, okay, there's all now kinds can of, you please explain reptilians? You don't even know what reptilians are, bro? I know what reptilians are, but you just randomly bro, do said, you even what about YouTube? the reptilians? Like, are you even a YouTuber, man? I do YouTube, but wow. not like you do. You don't stay in the times, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to tell YouTuber. you right now, Mario's the guy that watches the weird UFO shows on no, Netflix. No, no. Yes. He's, he tells me, Yo, I was known as that guy, the, the alien guy from Rapping Grace. You got to watch that. Uh, like, yo, Luke, Luke Walker from Wrath and Grace, one of the hosts from Wrath and Grace when I first started with Wrath and Grace doing the podcast, mm -hmm. he was uh, he was talking about giving the gospel to, you know, I forgot how he worded it, but it was sounding like to the universe, like you proclaim to the universe kind of thing, like he yeah, made yeah, it, yeah. like exaggerated it. And I let him so go on this. I to let him ether. go on. Yo, he was preaching, bro. He was going in, just preaching. And I let him go in on his tangent. And but he was like, you know, it was it was good stuff. It was solid stuff. And right when I got the break, I was like waiting for it. I was like, oh come on, come on, come on. So then I was like, so you said uh, preach to the universe. And I was like, does that include the aliens? This dude. <laughs> does that this, include the aliens? This dude bursted out. And, yo, he started dying, <laughs> laughing just on the show, just like cracking up, just was not prepared for it at all. And then since then, they were like, you know, people. Especially because I know how serious he must have been. Like, and you need to preach to the, to the world, to the masses, to all of the universe. And, you know, just praise God. <laughs> you said proof. And what about the aliens? Yeah, as, as I said, <laughs> so after that, like everybody started like that was the joke, the ongoing joke, the emoji, the alien emoji. Oh, is it aliens? People were saying on every post that I put, is it the aliens? Is it the aliens? And I was just like, you should have right, had a T-shirt. I'm for the that alien one. guy, especially being in Wrath and Grace. Does some of that stuff intrigues me? Not because I, I, it's entertaining. Okay, to me, it's strictly entertaining. The aliens, though. It is kind of crazy. It's entertaining. The stories and the encounters that they have, and they're like, you know, man, I just was walking through the field, and I saw the bright light, and then it took me, and then I woke up in my bed. It was crazy. Yo, there's, there's people that really legit, like, you know, very logical people that would say there's aliens. Mm-hmm. Very I've, logical I've seen people. some of the documentaries, and I'm, I can fully see the conviction in their eyes that they really believe that there are extraterrestrials out there. I believe that there's illegal aliens at times. Well, <laughs> at times. At times. Uh, sometimes. At all times. Sometimes. There's illegal aliens but I don't everywhere. <laughs> at times. So there's a certain but time where there's the, none. I don't believe in the greys. You know what I mean? You know the greys. The Grays? Oh my God, yo Dang, Shane, what the you heck? gotta school this guy. Yo, he don't know the Grays. School me. He don't know the reptilians. You need to school me on all. He knows the, the basic stuff. All He's like the a alien. Basic, it's a you're a basic <laughs> um, conspiracy guy. Like I'm you're like basic. surface level conspiracy guy. <laughs> Is that really a term? Yeah, man. Like you, you yo, know, the you're mad ones. basic. Like, you're mad basic. Okay, right? Illuminati. Oh, like that's the easy level. Crap, this dude is man. really trying to make me feel like I don't know about <laughs> the made up stuff that this world is talking about. Shane, you, you need to dude? know about all the fiction in this world. You're supposed to be a, a you know, a, a, what are you, a journalist? <laughs> I know about Sasquatch. Does that give me some more points? Wow, Sasquatch. <laughs> Bro, that now you're talking about like stuff we saw on TV I was saying. when we were kids. What was it? Uh, the 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 Loch Ness monster. Yeah, Nessie. The Sasquatch. Oh, Nessie. That was a Nessie That's from Loch Ness. No. They call oh yeah, Nessie. Nessie. Okay, okay. No, I thought those are two different. No, it's Loch Ness. They call really? her Nessie. Yeah. 
You sure? It's the same in Ireland. Yo, yeah. uh, Jeff, can you confirm that? <laughs> Jeff, can you <laughs> confirm it? Is he, is he telling the truth? Is he is he our is there a reader? Nessie? No, I thought what. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. Um, what else? I'm telling big, you, it's big Nessie. Foot, Loch Ness. Bigfoot. Um, what else was there? The big ones. I mean, aliens, Bigfoot, and the Loch Ness Monster were like. Yeah. And then those- I, I have to mention this one. La Chupacabra. Oh, the Chupacabra. But that was that's, real. But that was real. But that's one of them folklore things, man. No, but that was real. Like, that was for real. So you say. No, they found the Chupacabra, bro. <laughs> yeah, they found Bigfoot, too. <laughs> no, bro. I'm being for real. The Chupacabra was real. I don't know. Yo, we need Puerto- some my, where's my Puerto Ricans at? We need some- <laughs> We need some fact checkers. Is the chupacabra for real? The chupacabra is real. So the chupacabra was like this thing that was like um, sucking up the blood out of the animals in Puerto Rico for yes, a minute. Shane said it is. What? He said my, my dad, dad is, is one. one. Nice. That's messed up, Shane. But what they what they came to find out that it was uh it was like a rare crossbreed of two different um types of. I don't know, wolves or whatever it was. I don't know. What? Yeah. But it was an actual freaking thing. It was a, it was an actual Did animal. Did you see what it looked like? Yeah, they got a picture of it. And it looked like a wolf thing? Like a wolf thing. Like a weird looking thing. Wow. Like a cross be- breed thing. I don't know. It's a chupacabra. His dad is a chupacabra. Dude. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> he said my dad is a so chupacabra. My dad is a chupacabra. Wow, well, you lucked out on those genes. Because <laughs> you... It's a cross breed. <laughs> He my canceled bad. I it out. Into the mic, my bad. He canceled it out. What? Um, well, what do you mean he canceled it out? I'm saying because he doesn't look like a chupacabra. That's what that's what his uh, step grandmother called him when they first met. That's crazy. That the chupacabra. That I I I don't know if I would continue to date the girl. Giants. They call. There's another that. conspiracy. Giants. Oh, the nephilim. The nephilim. The Anunnaki. What? Oh my. god. The Anunnaki. Anunnaki. That sounds like a tribe. Oh, wow. You really ain't with it, Shane, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not up on, you know, Shane, fictional bro. characters. I know about Santa Claus. Is that a, does that count? Is that a conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy Yo, to me. Is Santa a conspiracy It's theory? a conspiracy <laughs> to me. Taking away the credit no, for these hardworking parents. No, that's real. <laughs> Shane. We should do that a poll of what's what's real and what's not. Everybody I want to make America non Santa. What is again. real and what is not? Seriously. Well, it's easy. It's very easy if you do. If if you did want to do a conspiracy, now would be the perfect time. Why do you say that? Because there's so many out there that's like everything's not believable. So why not just you mm, know I now you could saying. create something and just throw it out there and everybody believe it i think youtube is at an all-time high when it comes to conspiracies bro that's what it is like you could you could Find deep dive everything. in youtube and get lost and not trust your house <laughs> bro, like, i don't even know if it's i live like, here anymore. I, i'm in the matrix i don't <laughs> yeah, can man. somebody unplug me <laughs> i am no longer i can't trust anything that's not a moon that's not a sun those <laughs> are not stars it's not earth <laughs> this is not skin this is not real uh, that's it at the end of the if I drive further enough I'll fall end, off a cliff yo what cartoon no we can't even say what cartoon was it but I remember there was a cartoon right <laughs> where it's like it, it zipped down and it was like another person I'm really this guy I'm really oh, this guy it went all the way Roger down Rabbit? and it was like I'm really a broom <laughs> it was a broom no at the end <laughs> at the end it was a broom and the broom just fell <laughs> That is great. That yo, is great. Yo, that is so Whoever funny, wrote that bro. is a genius. So funny. Yeah. And he was really it is a, a straight up broom. He was really a broom at the end and fell down. <laughs> Actually, that was, that was I'm just end. a broom. That was the end of everything. <laughs> the, dude, the dude revealed his final real character. <laughs> and he won that one. He just flopped. But yeah. anyway, yeah, man, you can go on and on and on and question everything. Seriously. There's the thing, so many bro, things, The bugged man. out thing is when they try to mix fact with the fiction. So now you're like, oh, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Like they yeah. make these crazy points and like the whole flat Earth thing. There's a the, oh, the, some of them. Had, I was purposely staying away from flat Earth. No, I'm bro. just saying. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm not saying I do, and I'm I not saying in, I don't. I was I'm just saying you if just you've ever watched, if you on, man, if you've huh? ever watched one of them videos, you start to be like, yo. That actually makes sense. Some of it is kind of crazy, 
But some of it, you're like, yo, that can be true. Yeah, so Shane, Shane is saying this right here, is that there's always some truth, so you can't completely disprove them. You know, there's an element of truth. They're using truth. Yeah. So you you know what I mean? So now you're like, well, you tr- now you have to put work in to like disprove it. Some stuff you just, I mean, you just write off, you know, you don't got the time for that. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. what are you supposed yeah. to do? Convince a whole bunch of people? Watch and some head, of it is not even phone. it's not even necessary. Like some of the stuff that they say, like I, it's not necessary for me to know. I don't really don't care. Like Sasquatch, when you see a video <laughs> about Sasquatch, like why does that benefit me? I'm never gonna go outside to my car and then Sasquatch is gonna come <laughs> by me. So why do I need to know that he exists? He's you in the woods. I'm not in the woods. He, yo, real talk. All right, real story. Story time. Bling. <laughs> That's a segment. Dude, you need to have some Hold sort on. of sound for that. So, story time. applause. You should story. wait until if the story is good first. Story time. The story might be no, trash. I got the controls. <laughs> I got the controls, so everyone loves it. Story time. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Clap twice. This better be great. And that's it. <laughs> oh, no. And there you go. Uh, our time is up. So <laughs> I'm driving, right? Pop Dukes. This is when I first got like around the first time I, I get my 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 license, my permit. Yeah. Um. And my pops hit me up, and he was like, "Hey, your sisters are coming out of a school dance. Can you go pick them up? They were all their friends. All right, no doubt. Uh. But I was known to be reckless, a reckless driver. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I was young, like just you know doing stupid stuff. But pops, pops was like, and don't crash my van. I was like, Pops, I'm okay. I'm going to pick him up, come right That's home. That's scary like, right. that he said that to you. He was trusting me because I already did some stuff with the, you know, I, I came That's home. That's a very specific I came home thing with the to van tell someone van was not to do. The van completely covered in mud one time. Usually, the, the, the reason why I'm asking is because normally a parent would say, hey, go pick up the girls, be safe. But that was a very specific command. Because I don't was, crash my van. Yeah, because have you crashed it before? That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I've I was known to be a reckless driver. Yeah, reckless time. is one thing. No, but I mean, did dance, you actually crash? Dance, like you know, new dance, new whatever. And oh, I told so. you, I came home one time and the the whole van was covered in mud completely. Covered. What in What the hell mud. did you do? Oh, you were you were doing the the tire thingy. Like it was the, raining. What is it? Doing donuts? <laughs> it was raining. You, you were doing donuts. You yeah, were like, man, I don't believe in donuts. You know, I'm on a diet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, so, so listen to my story, bro. All right. So I'm like, all right, pops, I got you. I'm just going to go pick them up. Come on. I pick up. I, I, I go to the, the thing. There's my sisters. Like, all these girls. I all fill up the van. You know, everyone's in the back. Oh, they go, oh, all excited. I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever. They hop in. I'm driving. And I'm going in the back roads. So it's like all woods. This is, this is out in Charlton. Mm-hmm. I'm well aware. So I'm driving in the back roads. It's all woods. You know, really dark. And something, as they're bugging out in the back, like I'm, I'm just like looking. Something, I don't know what it was, dude. Like, I'm just quiet. I'm just driving. Just mm. boom, boom. I was on. I was a taxi man. You know, I then was focused. He was Ubering and, before and some there was reason, Uber. some reason, I was like. I feel like something's gonna come out the woods. I f- legit, legit. Like I was like, yo, I feel like something's about to come out the woods any minute right now. And I remember slowing down. Like I'm like, I just got this feeling, bro. As soon as I slow down, and there's a car behind me, where the only ones on the road. You right? As soon as I slow down, three deer, legit, like the size over, like adult deer they're they're over the van you know what i mean like heads are up here they come running out of the woods and i'm driving and i'm slowing down they're slowing with me and then i speed up and they're speeding up and they're crashing up against the van bro bong 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 three no. deer no lie no lie so then i'm like i just gotta hit the brake and just stay here so i stop and they all run off into the woods in front of me no, and no, and then I get out the your, car. Your sister and the girls, but yo, they were freaking. bugging. The, everybody's screaming. I'm like Dad. trying to like race against these deer. I'm like perfect time. And Santa Claus hat. I, I mean, I hit. <laughs> I must have hit Rudolph. I know it was, it was like Vixen, oh, you probably Prancer hit Santa and, in the back. And he's probably like <laughs> he hit me. Like, <laughs> get him, Rudolph. Right, right after, <laughs> And after that, Santa come running out and sipping up his fly, like coming out the woods. That's what I get for taking a pee. 
So anyway, yeah. That's fine. I hit Vixen, Prancer, and and, <laughs> and do you recall? Uh, no. uh, Vixen, get him. Uh so um yeah, so I get out the car. I don't know what to do. I'm like, do I like what happens now? <laughs> like what, what just happened? That's crazy. How do bro. I report this? I get out the car and I look at the van. <laughs> All jacked. Bro. And now I gotta go home and explain this to my pops. Real story. <laughs> At least you had a dozen girls behind you to yes, assess to the story. Many There's no bro. way you were gonna make that up. Many witnesses. And I'm sure they're traumatized faces. Bro. Testify to the truth because that's a, that's a real story. I can imagine your sister and all her girlfriends just freaking the hell out because that right there is a real brush with wildlife. Hey, hey, bro, I didn't know what to do, man. I'm like, yo, these things, and and bro, they're charging like full speed, like they're panicking too. Three of them, yeah, three adult deer panicking. They're like, all panicking. It was like three deers in headlights. They're panicking in the car. <laughs> they're panicking on the side. No, I didn't get. I wish I would have got them in the headlights because then they would have just paused. They came out on the side. They came out on the side, Dang. and then they're like, boom, boom, boom. Like we're like, boom, boom. <laughs> yo, this That's is crazy. crazy. Real story, bro. Real story, yep. Nuts, freaking deer. Usually you hit a deer. You don't. I don't know why you don't wrestle stuff deer. Like that always happens with animals, bro. Man, you like Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Let me see. I feel in my spider senses. Let me see. So There's those, something about those to come three out. deer came out the wilderness, slammed up against my van. I got bit by by a baby gator. He did." In the face. I got bit by a baby gator. In the face. That needs to be said as well. Because that could be your hand. It could be your finger. Bro. It could be On my arm, nose. On, on my just, nose. Yo, that thing was just chilling in the midair like this. Just I king, thought I was king, the king, I king, thought king, I was king. the lizard king because uh I had an iguana. So I thought I was like the <laughs> dude and it's crazy we're at this like get together there's people all over the place and the the actually at this time we were signed we were signed to and it was yeah, the it record was, uh, label owner's was, house yep, yep. it was and a house party we had, had a pet gator everywhere. a little gator it was like with the tail it was like this big yeah the body of itself it was like that and mario also owned an iguana at the time <laughs> yeah so mario was like Pfft, I have an iguana. Yeah. What, could, what's the difference? It's, it's no reptile. difference. So you know? he's walking around the party with the freaking alligator <laughs> in between his fingers like this. And he's like, yeah, so I got yeah, this. And everybody's king. like, oh, shoot. Is that a gator? He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Don't worry about it. Ain't don't worry about it, man. He's like, oh, this is my baby. No. Yo, this thing it. just went, you're forcing it. Bro. Yo, the muscles in those things. Bro, I had no. I had it out here. I wasn't dumb with it. I wasn't up on my face. I had it out here like this. No. The body, yes, I had the body. The body was like that. You didn't have it close to your face. I had it up here like this in my hand, and I was I was holding it, carrying it around like that. And all of a s- instant, bro, the thing, whoop, and it hopped right out, twisted around like the muscle. I'm telling you, bro, the muscles is crazy. It was just why. Next thing you know, he's from here to my face on my nose and trying to twist. He's trying to spin on my on my nose, bro. And I take him by his body and just throw him on the floor. His mouth is open. He's hissing. Big circle opens up. The girls are screaming. Everybody's running. The pit. The dude had a pit. The pit comes out. Tries to eat the gator. He's trying to grab the gator. Yeah, I'm running to the. I'm running I to the remember bathroom. all my that. No, my nose. But I don't remember blood. it happening from up <laughs> here. I could have sworn story. you were like this. No, with it. no, no, no. I wasn't kissing it. Don't. You faucet this. Story, you used man. to kiss your iguana. Don't yeah, even try to act like man. it. That's not a gator. So I thought you were like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't try to make. Don't try to paint this picture, man. Don't try to paint yo, this it picture. got so crazy that the owner of the gator was like, yo, since you conquered it, do you want to make it into a belt? I'm like, what yeah, the for real? heck is he wanted happening? To, he wanted to, yeah, he did. He wanted to kill the gator and make a belt. And Insane. I was like, nah, bro, keep the keep the gator, man. And then uh, he ended up buying me a, a wooden figurine of an of a gator out in Jamaica. That was hilarious. And I still have it to this day. And it legit is the exact size of his gator. It was when it the bit same size of the gator that that bit my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this dude had bite marks around his gator. nose for months. That took mad long to to heal. 
Yeah. No, well, your whole I mean, nose it was, was, re- the, was yo, freaking big. So I go to the hospital. And then I have to tell like fifteen six, different doctors, different doctors, the same story because everybody's <laughs> going into the room cracking up and telling the other, "Yo, you gotta hear that story," you know, exam room five, and like all these random doctors. So what happened? I was like, I just told the other dude. Oh what, no, dude! I just that's told like the other dude what in any what up, Derek? In any profession, you get some. You hear this story, and you're gonna tell your colleagues, like, "Yo." COVID. I, I had to tell that story, story like mad times man everybody oh did you know Mario got bit by a gator <laughs> like uh, dude but can you believe that you have that story under your belt that you can say that's a great story that you got belt. bit <laughs> by a gator in the face <laughs> like that's how many fact. how many people that's can say fact. that like, that is a fact that's like something that yeah. only animal trainers can say like oh yeah I've been bit in the face by a baby alligator <laughs> This dude's a civilian. A civilian. At, at a just party. A civilian just at a house party. At a house party, he's got bit by a gator. Bro, but they didn't follow up with like any f- questions after that. Like they weren't like, we need to Who? report. Somebody has a gator in their crib. For real, actually. Yeah. Um, and that's how where you find is this gator? alligator? That's how you find gators like in the in the lakes. <laughs> like no how did this gator get here? Yo, uh, facts. Somebody had a gator. An illegal and they just gator. Let it go. The pythons getting loose, like house pets, like exotic pets that like you could buy in, on Amazon. No. <laughs> on Amazon? <laughs> Online. <laughs> you got dangerous animals being delivered by Amazon. That, that's that's a whole recipe <laughs> for failure somehow. Uh, no, but there's stories like that for real. What do you mean? Like people who buy like buy exotic pets and then they get loose, like they get they get away. Like in their house? No, you no out of there. Like they escape. Wow! Yeah, bro, that I thought happen. they were letting them go. You never I didn't know, know that you were Fall River. You don't know somebody out there got a python or something. Who knows? <laughs> Cobra chilling. <laughs> All types of stuff in the world. I would not be surprised. Yo, when I was in the uh, um, Arizona though, and they were telling us like all the stuff that they got. Which is crazy. Like they got like scorpions. Oh, they got yeah, yeah. like rattlesnakes and like all the deadliest of the deadliest to exist out there. And I'm like, y'all have to deal with this. And they said at first because they built their house. Uh, my sister b- built their house on a new like a new ground. So she said for like the first few months, yeah, don't even there was, tell me. Yeah, she said they had like scorpions in the house. Oh and stuff come like that. on, bro! How do you, how can you do? I'm that? I'm like, are you serious? Like a real real scorpion? She was like, yeah, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, real. You get no, bit and you dead <laughs> type scorpions. No, but not all of them are deadly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, like the real ones, like the ones that you get bit and. You done if you don't go to the hospital? She's like, yeah, those. Like, those kind are the ones dude, that exist. Like, I, I freak out with centipedes. Imagine a freaking scorpion, <laughs> I can't, dude. You can't have a scorpion, man. What's Coming good? through the cut. <laughs> no, or, I or can't a rattlesnake? You see that? The, the <laughs> dog. Bro, they had a video of this dude who came across a rattlesnake, but the, somehow the rattlesnake positioned himself like right around his waist. And it and it's right there, like right by him. And the things, you know, the tail's rattling and everything. And he's like trying to move out of that position crazy. without getting bit. That was crazy. Can you imagine being in that position, bro? Heck no. That's Heck what I'm saying. I don't no. know if I can move to a place like that with like scorpions and rattlesnakes. But I that. asked him about that. I'm like, is that something you have to genuinely worry about? Yeah, like, uh, yeah. They, he, no, he said. What do you mean? No, but listen. He said that they stay away from the busy areas. So like, if you, he said the only reason why they saw it is because they built the houses on brand new ground, so they're not used to people being there. But he said after a while, like he said, now he hasn't seen a scorpion in years because they've been there for years now. And he's like, it was only like the first few months. Dude, no. But after that, he's like, now he's has never seen one because they live living just there. Just the fact that they're around, bro. True, but you have to right. really. It's like going camping. Like you can't just go camping in Arizona just just anywhere walking around. Of course around you can't. I because wouldn't. They got some crazy stuff out <laughs> I there. But out Even here, out there, yeah, but out here you could do that. Yeah, I'll you know what I'm saying. That. But if you don't know, <laughs> you just go camping out there and just chilling in the desert. That's crazy. Wait, there are people doing that? Yeah. People camp. In the desert? Yeah. Like for fun? Yeah. That's recreation? Yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. 
I, Why I mean, would it be weird? I don't uh, know. You it's, camp in the woods, like you well, know, they don't, I mean, there's no woods. It's no <laughs> different than yes, there's no woods, so they do but what I mean, they do. Like you think about, like you know, in, when you camp in the woods, like you have like the lake. They go swimming. They go. Well, if you think about it like this, like what are you going to do in the Arizona desert, bro? back in the day? It was like, cowboys. Oh, let's try to survive tonight. <laughs> like, which is, <laughs> that's a whole like, other experience hey, of camping. We're gonna go camping in, a- in Arizona. Let's it's try like, to survive. Guys, we're gonna go camping. And the goal of this trip is survive. survive. <laughs> yes, Dan. I can't wait. I can't wait to stake my tent. Man, stay alive. <laughs> One day down, five more to go. Ah, yes. We still have our limbs. <laughs> Looks like it's good for another day. That's crazy. No, oh, but seriously, boy. but what I was going to say is back in the day. I'm sorry, Derek. The cowboys, that's what they did. <laughs> After and then it was cowboys crazy. and it was crazy okay, because like when we were riding down there <laughs> and we were like seeing the desert we yeah. were like thinking about that like yo these cowboys legit was just riding through oh, yeah, all this yeah. for like hours straight, straight wild riding and riding and then when they got tired they set up camp built a little fire and they just slept there in the middle of nowhere susceptible to spiders scorpions, scorpions rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes poisonous spiders. Just chilling, Wait, and, there's, was, and there's pictures of it. They even have statues of like um, uh, cowboys, like sleeping on their horses and stuff like that. Like statues of it, like where I was in Pres- Prescott. Is that where they Arizona? Died? Huh? <laughs> is that where they it got, was their resting place? Is that where they got bit by the rattlesnake? <laughs> it was their tombstone. Like, was their tombstone. Was them just I even seen them. statues. Those are tombstones. <laughs> oh, uh, the body is goodness. really inside the statue. Um, no, but seriously, they have like pictures of it, just showing like back in the day. That was the life. Your horse and you riding just to different towns, different places. Like everything was that. That's crazy. And you just seeing miles and cactus and tumbleweeds and You see you saw tumbleweeds? Yeah, you saw all that, bro. It's straight up like I thought desert that was only country. Like things you do in action films. Like you oh just my god. Dude, you, you know that's the you dead plant that just after a while dies and it just that's what the tumbleweed <laughs> really is. I don't see the Mariah's <laughs> You know, like I thought that's, they made I thought it. That was only in movies. No, that's they, the sound thing. even comes out and everything. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's a tumbleweed. Somehow, that's what it was. and it's a random person in the street, and they just go like this with their gun. <laughs> what is all this? It's tumbleweed. Ah, oh, it's a makes standoff. Sense. Makes sense. <laughs> this is just like, well, sense. I don't even know you. Put your guns <laughs> up, or you're going to get shot. And when the when when the tumbleweed. <laughs> Like like passes by, then he leaves. <laughs> then, he, then it's gone. Like is it? <laughs> then he disappears. Yo, but it is kind of crazy though. Like I'm so used to the East Coast where you know we see the the leaves changing. Yeah, and yeah, that's that our thing. Yeah. yeah, that's our thing. Yeah. Over there, they got straight up cactus, just straight cactus. There's no trees. There's no like f- the leaves color changing. It's cactus. Do the cactus change color? <laughs> no. <laughs> seasons. Interesting fact. What you know the cactus they have like the you know the arms that come out on the side all yeah, that yeah. they don't grow an arm until they're se- over seventy years old. Fun fact, I was like that's actually kind of dope. So when you do see one that's like with the arm like it's several, that means it's old as heck. Ah, that's very seventy years for just one arm, dude. That's very beneficial, bro. How's that beneficial? Thank you. Oh man, I'm I just think, trying I to bless you. Cl- I think we could clu- <laughs> we could close with that. we can close with. You see a cactus? Hey, that's a fun fact. With, come on now, <laughs> with an arm. It's uh over that's, seventy that's years old. I hope you edified. Grace and peace. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you know what? Edified by the content in the beginning of I'll the be show, blessed. you'd say we uh, to cover various topics. We don't seem to know everything, but you know, we always <laughs> yeah. try to talk about. We're gonna some change stuff. that intro, bro. <laughs> we are gonna so change that intro. <laughs> Actually, we have an idea for that intro. We do have an idea for that, and it's going to be dope. When you guys see our new intro, I hope you guys appreciate it. Matter of fact, I didn't throw the names up. Hold on. We got to be official. Bang. And uh, next week, um, I promise y'all, I'm going to show you guys the video that, you know, I did in Arizona singing for my sister. I know I've been saying we're going to play that, but I dropped the ball and I didn't send it tomorrow, so that's my fault. But next week, we'll play it for you guys, just some... More yeah, I want to have more um more uh stuff lined up for y'all next week. Obviously, um 
you know, with Christmas and everything, we didn't have a lot of time to like put together a full show, get in, 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 uh, anybody, any special guests to come on and call in. Gil, watch your headset. That's what's what? getting the feedback when your headset goes. Oh, well, you heard it? Yeah. Oh. Just watch it. Um, actually, I'll turn you down right here. This one. No, nah, just move it to the side. Right. So, uh, yeah. So um, for next week, I'm hoping that, you know, we'll have more more content to go through actually I, I'm actually satisfied that we went through the EP yeah. so let's not forget about that Grace in the Furnace go check out that project um, I pinned the link to um, to the show so you should see it right there the link Grace in the Furnace and that will give you access to all your different storefronts wherever it is that you consume music um, most likely you can even find it you know, if you search for it on wherever you're at, just search for Mario Esco, two R's in my name. All my stuff should pop up. Uh, and if not, shoot me a message. Let me know. And I hope you guys are blessed by that. Um, again, it's just unreleased tracks that I, you know, uh, personally had, um, you know, a, a connection with. And I wanted you guys to hear that. So um, there was no motive behind that other than just I right, put it out there. And, you know, hopefully you guys you guys enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, so next week we'll talk about more so we'll we'll have more content to share and yeah. we'll talk about some of the plans that we have um, with the starting of the new year and some of the things that we want to really dive into like we're talking about bringing this whole experience in a live setting like not live like this on social media I mean person to person live setting that's that some of the sick. ideas that we want to talk about that we want to do i personally can't um, wait for that yeah so we're going to talk about a little bit more about that next week um until then i mean this was just us just chilling you know hopefully you guys had a good time man i know we have a good time every time we do this even if it's just me and gil talking back and forth <laughs> it's still yeah. mad fun i love um, it i love chilling with you guys and and uh, hearing y'all feedback and and just you know chopping it up with y'all even in the comments uh, we love the feedback. We love the back and forth. It shows that you guys are with us. Um, you know, till next week, I guess. Or are we closing up? Or yeah, yeah, let's close up. Um, so to conclude uh, the show, episode twenty four, I believe it is. Um, <laughs> I should know, but uh, I think it is twenty four, right? Yeah, yeah. twenty four. Um, yeah. So to conclude, um, you know, uh, cactuses with how many arms? No, they're not how many arms. <laughs> it's it's that they don't get Texas. arms until they're 70 years old. Go check out Grace in the Furnace. We love y'all. <laughs> Next week, grace and peace. Take care, y'all. If you're listening on the podcast, be sure to check out my Facebook music page, Mario Esco One. Again, two R's in my name, the number one at the end, Mario Esco One. Be sure to like and follow that page because I like to give dates on who I'll be interviewing and leave a description on what we'll be talking about. And I also like the real time one on one back and forth interaction. If you don't have the time to join us on Facebook Live, be sure to check out my podcast. It's called Mario Esco Live. Two R's in my name. Again, you'll see the white silhouette of myself with the cross underneath. Be sure to subscribe to that and follow the link as well to whatever podcast you're using or however you're receiving the podcast and leave us a review. We love to hear feedback. You can also hit me up at music at marioesco.com and just hit me up with some feedback and ways that we can improve the show or the things that you like and enjoy any type of feedback will be highly appreciated grace and peace